if any of you have seen my previous tutorial, which was creating a WordPress theme from scratch, uh, I'll put the link in the description so you can view it. That would explain why this website looks so hideous. It's just a real basic WordPress theme that I've created. And I just wanted to explain in this tutorial how to use page templates. So a page template is basically uh, something that you can set up if you want a specific page to have a different template to another page. Um, so if you actually go into any specific page on your WordPress, you'll notice that there isn't the option here, but there, sh there will be soon an option that says template. And then you can select a specific template to use on that page. So first thing you want to do is you want to go into your WordPress uh, folder structure and create a new file and we'll call it this. I'm just going to call it this just to keep it organized template dash test.php. We can call it whatever we want. Okay. But we're just going to call it that. I'm going to copy all the information from page.php and paste it into template uh, test.php. And at the top here in the PHP tag, we're going to put a forward slash and an asterisk and then do template name and we'll call it test and then asterisk and forward slash again. And now when I go to the test page and I go to edit the page, you'll see now that there's the option to have a template. So I'm going to choose test and I'm going to update it. And now that means that this specific page runs through this template, not the standard page.php template. To test this, let's try it. So let's just do an H3 and say this is a template. And we will go to that test page now and you'll see that that's there and anything uh, anything that's using the standard page template will obviously show whatever is in page.php. So let's go to contact us, for example, and you'll notice that that is actually just using the default template. So if I go to page.php and I'll just do h3 default template and view the page, you'll notice that's using the default template and that's using the test page. And that's it. You can create as many as you want and, uh, it makes uh, life much easier when you're creating your custom WordPress website. Hope that helps. Cheers.